Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Well, today I'm working on Junk Journal July and I am on day five. Day five is labels. So I want to get started. This is going to be my focal point. This is a penny or peony or however you say that <laughs> flower. I love this flower. I still have my grandma's bush in our yard, which I am thrilled. Um, but this is something that some friends and I got together to make and um, we had dyes. We borrowed a fr another friend's dyes and we uh, watercolored a bunch of paper and then put it together and made a bunch of these. We had several, I think we had three different flowers that we were working with. So I'm going to put that right there. And, oh, I hope my paper's dry. Yeah, it is. I just took this out of, um, I'll show you the book. It came out of this book, Daily Guidepost. I like to buy these. If you like to put, you know, like Christian stuff on your pages or, um, like these are just stories you know like devotions so they're really good because you know that there's no bad words going on your page which is important to me so we need to tear this out it's not quite dry I forgot about that till I got to that point <laughs> then I was like uh oh but it'll be okay so I'm gonna tear around where the words are and to do this I just uh, ran my ran my water brush over it and got a thin, you know, just barely wet. And then I smushed my um, ink pad onto my glass mat here and squirted some water, just a very little, you don't want to drench it. And then used that as kind of like watercolor on my paper. And that worked pretty good. Because I didn't have any of them tea stained or anything and I did not want to um, sit here and try to do that today I'm trying to get caught up <laughs> so I today is the fifth one I'm making it so I'm getting caught up for a little while <laughs> okay so what I want is let's see where do I want to okay I'm gonna mark it with my pencil so I'm gonna cut it from about here here to here, I think. So let's go ahead. I gotta aim for. I can't see my mark on this side. Oh, okay, I see it. Oh, I'm not getting it. Oh, I'm going below it, but that's okay. It'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to have to erase that mark. Let's see how this looks. I don't like how that little piece is sticking up there. Yeah, that'll be just fine. I want to ink around that. Do any of you have, I cannot remember, I never can remember the name, but it's like preventricular, I don't know, that's where your heart feels like it's skipping a beep, and when it does it, it kind of makes you cough or, or whatever, out of breath, they, um, it's, they say it's no, um, my doctor told me there's no danger, but it is doing it today like crazy, and so if I have to all of a sudden cough or go, stuff like that that's what it is because it is just driving me insane it's making me bonkers <laughs> okay now I'll work on this here Oh, I almost put that on the wrong page. Oh, it's wet. This isn't going to work very well to do this. Okay, that worked. Just 
can go back and forth, but I do have some glue down here where that happened. Oh, and look at what I'm doing. I'm tearing up the paper. Okay, leave it alone, Gina. Okay, so then we'll glue this down. The name of the company, it just came to me, the name of the company with these is Something B. If you know a rubber stamp company that has B in it. Like a bee, buzz, buzz, bee, <laughs> buzz, buzz. Oh, I'm so weird. Um, <laughs> anyway, I remember it had B in it. I found some similar on Timu, but they're not exactly the same. And I got those, but these are much better. Maybe it's Honey Bee. Honey bee stamps? I can't remember. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven labels. So I've got my little, I love this little label stamp, and I don't know where I got it from because I took it out and put it in my drawer because I use it so much, and I was tired of trying to get it out. So we're going to use this blue paper. Let me get my black ink. Because the I did not tell you, today's prompt is label. Labels. Here comes my husband from outside and he has no idea I'm recording. Oh, those last two aren't best, but they're okay. Okay, we'll cut these out real quick. enough well maybe I can just go down the side we'll see yeah it's working for the most part here I think it's faster to do it this way how is your how was your fourth of July by the time you Hey, wait, I'm a day ahead now, aren't I? Am I on day four or day five? Oh, I'm on four. Okay. I'm on four, not five. I was thinking, today's the fourth. If I'm on five, I'm ahead. I'm not. I'm on four. If you're in the United States, I hope that you're having a good fourth of July and safe. Pretty. It's got a light writing on the back, but nothing too major to interfere with stamping. Or not stamping, with what I'm putting on. I could stamp it with my little stamps, but um, I'll do that if I need this quote again, and I've already used it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a slow cutter. My hands don't work like they used to. I'm very slow. So I probably should have done this part ahead, but I didn't think of it.
I think there is a label close to this size in the field note stamps from Tim Holtz if you're looking for one. I think. Look at it before you take my word for it. I think there might be. Oops, I got a couple more. I know there's some nice labels in that stamp set though. going to put on these. I'm trying to see if any of them, yeah, there's the ones that have to be in a certain order. Okay, these are some word phrases that I got off um, Timu. They come in black and white and they're the same. Each side is the same. So I'm going to use start each day with a grateful heart. So, you know I was going to take that off there, but it's the bottom one. So I'm going to cut before I take it off. I think that would be easier. Than trying to cut through it with the adhesive showing. So I'm just cutting them all down. Okay. So then... Word on each one. Oh, I didn't cut those apart. I have to do it. I have trouble getting them straight. from. Well now it's on my finger. Where that came from. Oops, that one is very crooked. That straightened up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> cricket the opposite way. I need my tweezers. I can't do it without my tweezers. I can't see what I'm doing with my big old fingers in the way. There we go. Okay. So now we will bring this back in. This is a magnetic bookmark that I have. And I use that when I find my what I want to do. Say I wanted this one. I just take that and clip it there. So that helps me remember where I'm at. So just a suggestion, and these are easily made. I didn't make this one, but they are easily made. Okay, so we've got start. I'm just gonna put them in order and then move them around. Make sure I'm where you can see I'm a little too high. There we go. Each day with a grateful heart. Okay, so maybe we will go like that with a grateful heart. No. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Nope, don't like that. Uh, I didn't, maybe sh I didn't think this would be so hard. Stay with a grateful heart. Maybe if I do it down here, I would have room.
Oh, I like it better down. I guess that's where I'm going to put them. So I'm going to do the bottom one first. I'm going to use my tweezers. It's not cut very well. Let me give that a little trim. I will make them bounce. <sighs> Instead of trying, oops, I got that on the wrong. Instead of trying to make them perfect, I'm gonna bounce them up and down. Side. I have some heart enamel things. I wonder if I want to put one on here. Let me grab my enamels or my cling box. back in the back corner. So, let's see here. This is my bling box. It's, I don't know, I call them a train case, makeup case, from a long while ago. My mom always had one of these that she took her makeup in, and she also had one that she would go to um, customers homes to do their hair. She had everything in it for that. And I have that one, thank goodness. Okay, I've got these hearts. That one looks very pretty with it. It's awful big. But I really like that color. I think we'll do that. Put one. Like that. And one like that. And then do I want to put one of these also? I could. Why not? Ooh, that took some of the paper with it. It's got better sticky than I thought it did. That did too, but it'll be okay. If so, I have to put it up just a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, that was easy enough. All right. So this is day four of the junk journal July thing. I'll show you. This is the prompt list. And this is from Meg Journals. So I will have a link below where you can go to her website if you are interested in joining in and doing the prompts. You have a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye.